Coming to you from ME 3340 at Georgia Tech, this is Freud's number and tsunamis. So first, what is Freud's number? It's a dimensionless representation of the square root of inertial force over gravitational force. This ratio indicates gravity's influence on fluid flow. Here's the derivation of Freud's number. We take inertial force to equal mass times acceleration and gravitational force to equal mass times gravitational acceleration. Remember, mass is equal to density times volume. By breaking down the components in the manner seen and plugging them into Freud's definition from earlier, we get that Freud's number is equal to the velocity of the wave divided by the square root of depth times gravitational acceleration. When Freud's number is less than one, it is classified as subcritical and indicates that a wave on the surface of a fluid moves upstream. When Freud's number is more than one, it is supercritical and indicates the wave moves downstream. When Freud's number equals one, it is critical, meaning the wave moves at the same speed as the fluid. This is generally the case with tsunamis. On March 11, 2011, an 8.9 magnitude earthquake off the eastern coast of Japan triggered a devastating tsunami, with wave heights reaching 40.5 meters or 133 feet tall. The tsunami wave that hit Sendai, Japan is estimated to have traveled away from the epicenter of the earthquake at 224 meters per second or 500 miles per hour. Depth of the ocean at the epicenter is estimated at 4,600 meters. The height of the wave at the shore was 10 meters or 33 feet, which is roughly the height of a three-story building. At this point, the wave was traveling at 8.9 meters per second. For reference, the fastest human sprint speed ever was 12.43 meters per second. So, if we apply this data in each case to Freud's number, will we get a number close to 1 as we would expect? Let's find out. Plugging in our numbers, we find Freud's number for the wave leaving the epicenter is almost exactly equal to 1, while closer to the shore, it is slightly further from 1. We can attribute this difference most likely to energy loss as the wave approaches the shore. So did we validate that Freud's number for the Japan tsunami is nearly equal to 1? Yes, we did. Thank you for watching.